Hi, welcome everyone. This is Sushma Shri Krishna. Welcome to Tech Canvas. In this tutorial, we shall discuss how to select a date from the calendar or a date picker using JavaScript executor. I request you to please refer my earlier video to know more on the web table way of selecting the data. So let's understand what is JavaScript. JavaScript is a language which is written inside the browser to interact with HTML. This means that the browser understands the JavaScript commands. So JavaScript provides a way to execute JavaScript through Selenium WebDriver. It provides mainly two methods, execute script and execute asynchronous script. In this video, we shall use the execute script method to input the dates. This method is very easy to use. Let's take an example, say clear trip application and try to book a ticket. So I am going to access the browser and access clear trip application. So this is the home page. And let's take a simple use case of booking a flight from Mumbai to Bangalore. To book a flight from Mumbai to Bangalore, the steps that needs to be followed are Select round trip Input the value in from field Input the value in to field Select the departure date Select the return date Click on search flights button Close the browser. Here we shall use the JavaScript executor to input the dates to the departure and the return date fields. Before we move further, let's understand the syntax of JavaScript executor. So, this is the syntax of the JavaScript executor. And in the first line, the JavaScript executor is being typecast to the driver. JS is the reference variable of type JavaScript executor. In the next line, I have the reference variable JS.executeScript. And here, the execute script is the method which is being provided by JavaScript executor which takes two arguments, script and argument. Down here, I have a small example. So now let's go and automate the scenario which we discussed earlier. I'm going to navigate to Eclipse where I have my class. So I have written a class called as date handlings where I have written a part of code. I'll walk you through the code and we shall add the code to select the date using JavaScript executor as we move further. Here I have declared WebDriver as static. Here I have called the main method. These two lines will launch the Firefox driver. Driver.get will launch the ClearTrip application on the browser. Driver.manage.window.maximize will maximize the browser. Driver.manage.timeouts.pageloadTimeout will set the page load timeout to 30. And I have set implicitly wait time to 40 seconds. Down here, I have created a method called as script handle. This will have the code to select round trip, input the value to from and to, input the value 
to departure return date and to click on search flights button and then to close the browser. So the first line will select the round trip. The second and the third line over here will input Bangalore and Mumbai to from and to the fields respectively. Now we shall go and input the dates to the departure and the return date. So to do that, let's use JavaScript executor. So the syntax is as follows. Java script executor. I'm going to cast this JavaScript executor to driver. I'm going to create a reference variable, say JS, which is of type JavaScript executor. And this JavaScript executor has been imported from selenium.javascript executor. I'm going to use JS, which is the reference variable, to call the execute script method. And I'm going to pass the arguments here. Please follow the syntax. It's document dot get element by id. Here you need to pass the id of the input field which I am going to fetch it from the Chrome browser. Let's go and get the ID. I am going to right click on this and click on inspect. So this is the ID of this input field. I am going to copy and paste it here. dot value is equals to you need to provide the value that you are going to input to the date field let us go back to the application and select 28 september 2019 as the departure date you need to give the correct format of the date. So I am going to copy this and paste it over in my code. So this line will input 28 September 2019 as the departure date. So now let's go and do it for return date. So I'm going to just copy this and only change the ID. So we'll go back and get the ID. I'll click right click and click on inspect. So this is the ID. We shall paste it over here and we shall give a a different value. So let's give it as 30th October. So now we have input the value to the return date. So let's give some sleep over here. Thread dot sleep. I'll also provide some sleep after selection of return date. So once the return date is selected, it will wait for 3 seconds and then it will click on the search flights button. 
again wait for about 5 seconds and then it will close the browser. I have given thread.sleep to make sure that the selenium has selected or has input the values what we have specified here while performing execution. So before we move ahead further, let's go and call this method script handle in our class. So to do that, we need to first create an object of the class date handling js. Let's do that. dtjs is my reference variable. So object of the class has been created. Now let's call script handle method. So we are done. Let's save this and let's run this program. So browser has been launched. Now clear trip application has come up. Selected round trip from to the departure date, the return date and it will click on search flights button now. It has clicked on search flags button. Now if you close the browser. Now let's try to rerun again. Let's try to concentrate more on the date fields. Return date, departure date has been selected. Now it clicked on search flights and it has closed the browser. That's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned for more. I request you to please like and share. Thank you and have a wonderful day.